Welcome back. Let's now take a look at the day's sports. Newly appointed coach Sebastian Mine took charge of Harambee Stars' first training session ahead of two friendly matches against Swaziland and Equatorial Guinea. All local-based players initially called up took part in the session, save for George Odhiambo, who is out with illness. Foreign-based players are expected to link up with the team in the course of the week. Kenya will face Swaziland and Equatorial Guinea on Friday and Monday, respectively. It's up to us now to, to show him what we got and to support the coach uh, from, uh, from what he's giving us uh, in, in the pitch. Kulingana na meita pia talent zingine, new talents and yaziku as my identifier, pia nieko kuake, na pia kwa Kenya. Now up to game ya Friday yo, did ya Swaziland to Zashinda, and to now my fan pia support team, at least to kuji study my support team kwa wingi. I'm optimistic and uh, we are lucky also because uh, I don't like to waste time and uh, I think we win time for local team for the future, for Sikafar, for Chance and uh, we start to work and we have uh, two friendly games and maybe three more in, uh, in India. It will be really interesting for me to have some answer about uh, locals. It's important that I mention at this point that Swaziland is no longer called Swaziland, it's called Eswatini. So if you hear Harambe Stars are playing with Eswatini, that is Swaziland. Okay. So a round of three wins, two draws and a loss in the month of April. So Zoo Karicho's coach Sami Okoth and the coach of the month award. Zoo won against Postal Rangers, Tasca and Kakamega homeboys while getting points off AFC Leopard and Bandari. The results saw the Karicho based team pick 11 points out of a possible 18, pitting them as the best performing team that month. Raise the performance of your boys, Zoo FC, as they target the top position in the league. Congratulations. My first uh, reward, I've never been rewarded as a coach in anything else apart from this, so it really motivates me and makes me feel that I can do much better things than what I've done today. We were actually struggling to get at the bottom, to, to get out of the bottom of the league. So on the process, we didn't know Fidelity Insurance was somewhere keenly noting our, our effort. So it was actually a collective responsibility uh, between the technical bench and the players. That is what has made us actually to get out of the bottom of the league. There's some good news now, construction of four state-of-the-art stadiums, which will be located in Dandora, Jakaranda Grounds, Karyoko and Kiumbini in Nairobi kicked off uh, today. The construction of the four stadia seeks to address the need for more sports and recreational facilities for the youth in Nairobi. Dandora and your area may go in a torch, Zaji, and Bawa may go in a Sifika Sana, or Mitsuya team and national team, Sana Rambin Stars, that Najua Kiwanja may say they were twenty Sana. Sisi wakaji wa Dandora, tume receive hii maendeleo na mikono yote mbili. Na tutashukuru sana waziri, hii kazi yendele vizuri na yishe vizuri, vijana wetu wa kuempowered through sports. This is not an easy investment, na haijafanyika mahali kuingi, lakini yeye ameamua kwamba anataka kusimama na vijana to transform their lives once and for all. Sio hizi vitu ndogo ndogo, unaeka milioni mbili hapa, unascratch kiwanja hapana, we want to do a real stadium here. Mm, let's see how that goes.